time is at a standstill here. But didn't they... Just before we dragged off the future with you, Grovile. Yeah, didn't that happen? Didn't Yuxi and his friends made a promise? That they would return the time gears to the rightful place? The time remains stopped here. That could mean... The time gears may not have returned to the rightful places yet. We'll see about that. The forest time gear is over the here. What's this? It's a time gear. There's no mistaking it. But... Time gear seems to be stopped. No wind's blowing. See? Those leaves are fixed in place. Time is stopped here. The time gear is returned to the right place. Why is this happening? Guess we don't really have an answer. And everything just got darker. Hey, what are you doing? Time's already stopped here. Won't make any difference if I take the time gear now. There's also something that's worrying. More worrying. More worrying? Forget. Let's leave. Also, Justin, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before we go back to Sharpeo Bluff, I can get some information on Treasure Town. In Treasure Town? Yes. Here's what I want you to find out. Learn everything you can about what's happening in the world right now. Okay, I'll go find out. Everyone thinks you've gone into the future. Therefore, yeah, I understand. I found out I'm back. There will be an uproar. I'll keep low and grab some news. I'm counting on you. Oh, he's back. I'm back. Get some news like you wanted. What's the word? The word is not very good. After we went to the future, you've seen his friends return the time gears to the rightful places. Everyone's happy because they thought time returned normal. The time stopped in those places. Even worse, it's spreading. Time has stopped in more places. Is that true? Yeah. Everyone's upset and concerned because no one can figure out what the problem is. Grovile, do you know what that means? The time stopped in this burning area. It can only mean one thing. The Temporal Tower is starting to collapse. The Temporal Tower is collapsing? Correct. The Temporal Tower gives structure to time. So if it's starting to collapse, time itself will collapse in ever widening areas. This is bad. The problem is accelerating. The plan's paralysis is coming up fast. What, but we have to hurry then. That's right. If we don't hurry, the plan will become fully paralysis. And one way to stop the destruction of time now, we need to gather time gears. That the time gears must be put in place with Temporal Tower where Dialga lives. There's a problem. Temporal Tower is located in a place called the Hidden Land, as the name suggests. No one knows where the Hidden Land is. But there isn't any time. That's right. That's why I think we need to split up for now. I'll go collect the time gears. In the meantime, I want you two to search for Hidden Land. Okay, I got it. It's okay, Mason? Okay then, you're in charge, as always. The Hidden Land is supposed to be somewhere in this world. Unfortunately, there are no clue to where exactly it is. Considering that no one has discovered it yet, you should probably assume it's quite far away. We must even consider crossing the sea. I discovered the means to do so. Crossing the sea. I'm sorry I don't have knowledge how to do that. I'm counting on you. I'll be off gathering time gears. Good luck. Now, we should go searching too. Let's find the hidden land. So, uh, where should we begin looking? Uh, why don't we consider how we can cross the sea? Easy, make a boat. Well, we just have me at the beach, so... This is hopeless. I'm crossing the sea. I'm not coming up with anything. I could research the hidden land, but... We're supposed to start looking. There's no time, damn it. It's true we got a little too info we got too little info to go on. We have no time to waste. We gotta locate the hidden land ASAP. We gotta find temporal tower, then put the time gears inside. If we fail to do that, our planet's screwed. We have to stop that. Whatever it takes. Do that well. I don't think we got a choice. We're gonna need everyone's help. Got it. That's what I'm gonna tell Justin. Hmm? What is it, Mason? Let's go to Wigglytuff's guild. What? You want to go to Wigglytuff's guild? Why? We just appear in front of everyone, remember? Well, I think everybody would be really worried about us. And I miss them all, too. Everything we saw in the future. 
everything about Grovile and Dustinor. Even about your past, Mason. We all tell it to the guild. I think you believe us. What do you think, Mason? Do you think everyone in the guild will believe us? I remember my first option. I said, I don't know. Honestly, let's look at the positive side. All the shit we've been through with them. I think they got... I think they... They saw it up front. They saw Dustnor just unmistakably, aggressively just grab us and threw us in. No explanation whatsoever. I'll probably answer some questions about that. So, in short, they'll believe. You think they'll believe us? Well, you say that, but is there a chance they'll believe us? After all, everyone in this world is convinced that Grovile is the villain. They think Dustnor is a really good Pokemon, don't they? Everyone especially thinks highly of him, you know? I saw the future, but I still won't believe the truth about Dustnor. If we were to start, if, if we were to tell everyone about the truth, I wonder if they would be able to accept it. Yeah, that's true. What Justin's saying is true. Maybe no one will believe us if we tell them the truth. But, you gotta try anyway. What? We should tell them anyway? Why? They might not believe us, right? We should tell them anyway? Well, um... I, there's a really, there's a lot of variety of options to pick at this point. Um, let's see, yeah. Uh, yes, tell him. Why? Why do you think so? Uh, like, like the last part, there's a lot of options to pick for, to, to advance this dialogue, but we need everyone's help, you know? Everyone's help. I understand. <sighs> we can't find the hidden in the room. We do need everyone's help. We don't get our help. We're running out of time to run the plant's paralysis. Mason. Okay. You're right. Let's go home. To Wigglytuff's guild. There we go. Let's go back to the guild and tell everyone the truth. I'm sure everyone will be shocked, but... I think they'll understand. Let's go home, Mason. Back to Wigglytuff's guild. I swear to fucking god, stop! Chapter 17, The Guild's Crew. It's completely locked. Here we are. Really tough skilled. Feels like we were gone a long time, but... Now that we're here, it's, it's kind of awkward to go in. I mean, we were suddenly taken away from everyone. It would be sort of strange to suddenly show up. I think everybody would just like be like... They're back. I don't really care, but they're back. That reminds me, uh, last week, well, I don't know when this episode's gonna be uploaded, but a little while ago, I had to go fit, I had to go, uh, babysit these kids. And we watched, uh, Yokai Watch. I don't know anything about it. And this one kid dropped the nugget, and this Yokai made a new one and he's like here's a nugget he's like I don't he's like I don't oh it's my nugget I don't know how it happened but I don't care it's my nugget uh, I don't fucking know insert that's that I don't fucking know uh no we can't be acting all bashful now we have to see everyone and tell them the truth okay I'll stand above the sentry post I'm undetected I'm undetected who's footprint who's footprint uh, the footprint belongs to the footprint it belongs to. What's wrong, Diglett? Respond, respond. What? Hey, Diglett, where do you think you're burrowing off to? That, that footprint. It's Justin. What? What? Wah? Oh, it is Justin and Mason too. Yo, what's up? Uh, uh. Oh, what's up? Oh, pfft. Oh, hey, we do have friends. Oh, there's even more. Hey, hey, it's true. Oh my gosh, it really is Mason and Justin. You're both alive. We worried so much about you. I, I was, I was by golly. Ooh. Everyone, Rome. Oh, look at Chad coming out so smugly as fuck. Like, I'm here, boys. Oh my God, it's my friends and apples. Welcome home, Justin, Mason. Apples. 
Let's go make some apples. So this is... Alright, so here's a rundown of what happened in the last couple episodes. What? What was that again? Just just hold on for a moment. Let me get this story straight. Okay. Ahem, let me summarize your story so far. First, Grohal is actually a good Pokemon. And he was collecting time gears to save the world? It may sound strange, but yes. And the Great Dustner only pretended to be kind and helpful? But he was actually a heinous and wicked villain? Yeah, I, I, although I didn't really phrase it as heinous and wicked. And Mason was really Grohal's partner? Yeah, that, that fucking mind fucked everyone who played this game the first time. So, Dustner wanted to get rid of both Mason and Grohal, so he took him to the future. And, and me too, don't forget about that. He managed to escape from Dustner by the skin of your teeth. And he really made it back home for the future? Yeah. And finally, this plan was soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grover started gathering time gears again? Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called Hinland? Is that your story just full entirely? Yes. Uh. Justin Mason, you must have bad. Did you what? Hello? Why don't you two just go to your room and get some rest? Oh, wait a second. You think we're bullshitting? We just told you it was all true. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. Good out fix that. No, no, that's not it, shout out. Seriously, we're, we're telling you the truth. That's quite enough. Is there any part of your story that's remotely plausible? A place called the Hinland? I'm the intelligence here. I heard no such place. Besides, the Great Dust is far too kind to do anything to do anything like you alleged. Well, I can't, I can't believe the truth about Dustnor either. It came as a huge shock and it was really hard to accept, but still, he dragged us into the future with no questions. But, uh, no more of this. I don't care what you say. The Great Dustnor, the villain, that's simply unbelievable. Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anyone seriously think the Great Dustnor is a villain? We hold Dustnor in high esteem. We cannot believe it. Fuck. See? Everyone shares the same opinion. But... Hmm? What is this done for? There is something I don't understand. That time, the Great Dustin was able to return to the future. Exactly. What Dustin did then? It was strange anyway if you looked at it. Really? Do you think so? Don't you think that Mason and Justin fell into the dimensional hole by accident? You dense motherfucker. How can you... I'm just not even going to question the amount of stupidity. Even a fucking slacking who is up on a mountain 20 kilometers away from there could have been able to see all of that. No way! Dustler grabbed Justin Mason and yanked him in. Hey, that's right. It looked that way to me, too. Hey, what happened was really weird. Gosh, I wonder why Dustnor did something like that. If, if what Justin says is true, then what Dustnor did suddenly makes perfect sense. What? Wait a minute. So is that what you think now? Or are you actually saying you believe what Justin and Mason are claiming? Everyone. Yes. Well, what's your answer? Yes. Uh, I, I believe them. What? What did you say? So, Bidoof, you're not claiming the Great Dustnor villain? Oof, golly, I surely did think highly of the Great Dustnor. The idea sounds troubling when you put it that way. There's something more important here. Yup, yup, Mason and Dustnor are more important. That's why I believe what Mason and Dustnor have to say. But what? Bidoof. Hey, hey, I believe too. Me too, oh my gosh. They're guild colleagues after all. Corfish. And Sunflora. I believe them. Me too. So do I. Casting down our colleagues is wrong. Trust is a must. Scrack? Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for believing us. Well, hiya. Sounds like we all agree. Eh? We all believe our friends. That's great. Alright, let's begin searching for the headland. Oh, hold on there, Guildmaster. Hmm? What's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? I'll go over the story. Well, I suspect that Shadow isn't convinced. Oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about Shadot. Eh? Shadot's convinced, right? Huh? Because Shadot believed Justin's story all along. Right, Shadot? 
Uh, oh god. What? How peculiar. Well, Gamaster, there's no fool in you. I admit it. Yes, I believe Justin Mason right from the start. Really? But if I... What if I said I believe in right way? Everyone just gone along with what I said. What's all this? That's why I was so contrary. I want to put your friendship to the test. Gosh, likely story. Without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would surely believe their colleagues. Says you. Hee hee hee. Mason, Justin, I believe you. You're my good friends in guild membership. Even though you didn't get me my fucking apples, I don't care because we got more and we're all going to have an apple party. Now listen everyone, time is stopping in more and more places. From Justin's story, we know our world is in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. And name the Wicked Top Skill, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do this everyone. Hooray. Shut up. Yes sir? Okay everyone, from now on we're shaking all efforts to locate the hidden land. Let's let everybody know what's happening in our world. So we're gonna get, get busy. We'll have to work hard. I sure will. I'll, I'll put her down to treasure found. I'll get word out by golly. I'll go too. I thought Azo and his friends know. Back in his legs, they might try to stop Grovile. But hey, then I'll go tell them. Okay, everyone else. Search for the hidden land, please. Yeah. Be Mr. Flora and the others. Once your eyes are done, gather information on the hidden land. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the hidden land together. Uh, that word too. All right, let's show some guts. Hey, can we take a nap first? I'm trying to talk. I'm sorry, I don't have any info on the hidden land, but maybe the wise Torkoal, the El town elder, may know something. Torkoal, the town elder? That would be the wisest and oldest poem of the treasure town. He loves the hot spring, so he always stays there. In fact, impressive you'll find him at the hot spring. Oh, I remember. Da da dee da 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 da. It's him! It's a nice old Pokemon that. You should put his years of wisdom to use. Go ask Torgo for advice. The first time we went to Hot Spring, we had to get to the Waffle Cave. Uh, but first... It's getting late. Besides, you must be hungry. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm f I fucking need a horse. How yours did too. You should have dinner. Then get a good night's sleep. You don't get to work tomorrow. Hey, Mason's belly growled again. Did everybody hear that? What a laugh, Mason. Let me probably bark back at Chumko, eh? Uh, can't help it. The stomach wants what the stomach wants. Ooh, apples. Apple, 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 apples. Really tough. Did you put some purple apple in my... Yes, I did. Shut up. Don't, don't question it. Ah, right, great. It's been so long since we've been in this room. Feels as though I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone came to believe our story. It made me a little choked up. Let's go make Torgo but more. Oh, no, let's ask him. You know, back at it again. I swear to God. Okay, the NASA is safe. And we're back at this again. I swear to God. I t no. Back at it again. Ahem, so wrapping up, everyone's aware of their duties today. I go, yes. I'm all ready to go. Good. Those you invested in Hinland, those you spend for the day first, I expect you to organize our teams accordingly and get going. Let's get right to everyone. Hooray. <laughs> Just going back and eat apples. I must go to the top hot spring and get information from wise old Torkoal. I think we need to go through Waffle Cave. Ah, oh, fuck my life. All right, guys. After 19 minutes of post dialogue, What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. In the last episode, we made it back to the past. And with all that said and done, it's time that we actually start doing all this stuff. Getting ready for finale. Not really finale, what the fuck am I talking about? It's gonna be a while yet. So let's add the teams, because why not? Um, where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is that? That beautiful, beautiful man. Oh my god. We're all like completely over leveled for all this. Everyone's. Oh my god. There you go. So, we're finally back here. Thank god. 
because the future sucks. I miss this place. Oh, look, traffic. Yo, what's up? Want to help pop it? But I just can't do it myself. I'm counting on you. Okay. It's been a while since we were last here. Uh, I would order, but I don't think I got any gummies. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? Everyone, probably peanuts made a new discovery. This time a new explorer ever discovered my garden map for you. Oh, you can now go to Landslide Cave. Please keep recycling. Well, do we get more things? Okay. Well, it's cool. We get a new item. We get a new area to explore. Yo, you're all right. We heard you disappeared in some called dimension hole. I mean, it's where you're back, and you're all right. Yay! All right. So. Welcome back, we're worried about you, blah, 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 blah. We want you to know that we have a revival season here. Oh, sorry, it lied. Fuck you, Kekleon. Your back was scratch. We had too many scratches. All right, let's see what we can store here. Let's see. Don't want these plant seeds. Uh, don't need this, don't need this. Uh, Scan over. I'll put those in. Uh, let me take that. Let me take um. Uh... It's been a long time. <laughs> okay. Fucking uh. Edge Lord over here. A Chansey song, another one of these things. Alright, well, what else we got here? Um, a white gummy. Okay, make some nice juice out of that. A Tort Horn. Okay. I think I'm gonna go to bed after this. I'm kinda tired. A Pachi t Hatsuritsu too, I guess. Yeah. A Wabu Sweat. Gross! Why the hell do I got sweat? A char- another charcoal. Alright. Let me, uh, go and store this. Nasty! Um... There we go. All done. Now let's go store all this money back into our bank. Your absence kept me from resting in peace. Uh, but you're... I'm not going to question uh, your life. But anyway, guys. Even though four minutes ago I did just did the introduction, it's been 23 minutes long. I'm feeling a little bit tired. I'm going to end up the episode right here, so thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Explored of Sky in the next episode. I'm going to go to the hot springs. Thanks for watching. See ya.